Well, now. Another police shooting. But this one. This one. This one's probably like, we're like, yeah, this guy. This guy. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Steve Garcia says the suspect, who, as you mentioned, has a very lengthy criminal history, had actually kidnapped a woman. She was found safe inside of the stolen car after the suspect was killed by covert officers. Dash camera video shows a uniformed Dallas police officer getting into a shootout with an armed man early Sunday morning. Hey, stop! No, no, no. I mean, it's a, it's a dead blame war zone out here. Officer Francis Vela and her partner had responded to the 1800 block of Barnes Bridge Road at the request of covert officers who followed a silver Cadillac SUV with paper plates that didn't belong to it. When they arrived, they saw the man later identified as 55-year-old Michael Shirley outside of the vehicle. Shirley, you don't mean it. The officers gave verbal commands to Shirley to stop and show his hands. Shirley then pulled out a handgun from a shoulder holster and fired at Vela, who fired back. Here's the shooting from a different angle. Shirley, Does she have been more crouched down at the front end of the front quarter panel of the car? She's standing straight up takes off in the stolen SUV, hits a curb, and flips the SUV in the 200 block of Barnes Bridge. He fires again on Vela and her partner. Two covert officers armed with rifles take cover behind a car. Good Lord. <laughs> they pull out military weapons. Let's get this guy. And return fire. Drop the Shirley is hit and goes down. Dallas police launched a drone to get it. I would have thought she would have been hit, you know, when she was standing straight up on the side of that car. I don't know. In the heat of the moment, I, I don't know. I'm not a police officer and good Lord. Up close look at the scene. That's when they made a dramatic discovery. A woman handcuffed in the backseat of the SUV. The woman said she had gotten into the suspect vehicle voluntarily and as she and the suspect drove around, the So, we can assume why she got in that car voluntarily. I'm gonna say, say what I'm saying. It's no excuse for him to handcuff her. Suspect then pulled her into the second row seat of the vehicle and handcuffed her to the seat belt. Garcia says she is not a suspect and is not being charged with any crime. Officers rendered aid on Shirley, but he died on scene. The gun he used to fire at officers recovered nearby. He has an extensive criminal history and was sentenced to... Good Lord. Look at this guy. Well, has he changed over the years? And those lovely tattoos eight years in prison in 2010 for indecency with a child. None of Indecency with a child, a sex offender. A pedo. Thank God these brave police officers put him down the officers nor the woman with him was physically injured no call is routine this should have been a traffic stop instead a violent criminal predator i might add chose to fire upon my brave men and women not once but twice and of course this officer involved shooting is under investigation which is standard uh great chief garcia says that overall the uh, violent crime in city of dallas is down by 12 percent but did acknowledge today that murders are up by six percent still he says that the city's violent crime reduction plan uh, in his words is still moving in the right direction despite the increase in murders recently wow well i don't know about y'all but I'm glad. Now this is a feel-good story. It feels good. You got another degenerate, a life, a lifetime of 
committing crimes. God knows how many children he did the unthinkable to. And those victims, they watching this, you know, watching this going, thank God. The Lord has answered my prayers that this guy, they've received justice. They have received justice. And there you go. That's what's happening. 